This is what happens if you let go of your cart. <laughs> Slanted floor. Vincent de Paul in Walla Walla, Washington. John and I took a trip out there. It's about 45 minutes or so. Okay, as you could see, some of the prices are pretty high in here. It was a little disappointing to see that. And I thought we weren't going to find anything to buy here because of the prices. I actually did end up finding some things. It's one of those funny thrift stores that they price a lot of their items high. Oh, there's Walla Walla. You guys get a little pink. Little peak of that building across the street. Not sure what that is, though you'll see that some of these prices are just way too high they're pricing for the buyer or the collector not the reseller of course so i didn't even try to buy any clothes i mostly looked at home goods hard goods that kind of thing I didn't know what this was. I went to look at it later. If you guys have any ideas of what that is, let me know. I thought about getting this, but I looked it up and they are selling, but not for much. So sadly, I put it back. I do like perfume bottles and some of them are quite valuable. Never hurts to look at. I looked up this mug and one sold on eBay for $9. $9. So uh, although I love Alice in Wonderland stuff and some of it can sell for a lot, that one was not one of them. I will always love you. Uh -huh.
I really like this and consider getting it because it said all things are possible. Scripture, which I love, but I just have too many of those letter boxes, so I didn't need it. I also looked up this Rolodex because I knew it was vintage, but they don't sell for this a lot. Is what happens if you let go of the heart. <laughs> Slanted floor. are like mid-century modern record holders i believe those gold metal ones underneath that shelf i actually own one of those i thought about getting those but that would in require shipping which i don't really want to do but now i'm thinking about it maybe i should have grabbed them and see how much they are because <laughs> those kind of things do sell norman rockwell plates that is the thing you don't want to get uh, Norman Rockwell is saturated on eBay and you're not going to get much maybe five or under for those plates I've learned my lesson I'm not getting any more Norman Rockwell and I thought about getting that cute little fish and I thought I don't really need that <laughs> Do you guys remember Ziggy from the 70s? You may or may not. <laughs> I do. Look that up. There was quite a few for sale, and I thought I was going to get about the $20 range, but I'm probably just going to run 10 to 15 Lesson to be learned, you guys. When you look up stuff, don't look at them up generally. Look up specifically, because I didn't type in the exact plaque that I had I just said Ziggy plaque and one sold for like 20 I thought it was good but then when I got home I typed in the exact saying and I found a few for sale so be warned you guys be as specific as possible if you can when you are searching <laughs> Ninja Kids Ninja costume. I don't know if that interests you. Is that their price? Yeah. Okay, it had to be like sealed or never used. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sold that. I sold two already. Mm -hmm. So that, um, what was it, Bohemian? Oh, it's like a go-go dancer. Go-go girl, da yeah. Yeah, and then that Disney one, which was Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean. I like some costumes. <laughs> I enjoy selling masks. I've sold a few African ones. Don't know if that's African, but I looked it up and too high of a price, so I left him there. Goodwill and I wanted to show you what I found. Okay, I found these really cool pillows. I found two of these. Look how beautiful. I think I'm gonna put 30-35 on these. They were five four ninety nine. Little pristine condition. I can't believe I found two. Then I got a Goo Goo Doll CD, which I love them. One ninety nine. Found this really cool snow globe. The bottom's gone, but it doesn't matter. We're putting it down. It's from 2000. 2000. I had to move down a little bit. Baskets. If you guys don't know, if you see any of these baskets, grab them. Okay, that one has a little bit on it, but. He's, he's got a little burn mark, which I knew about, but nobody's going to see that when he's head down. I already sold some of these previous. Got a rectangle one. They were in two different aisles. They were each $2.99. I could go 20 to 30 on those. Then I found my Jingle Pals. I love these. I've sold several of them over the years. Um, the battery's not, it's either not in there or it's burnt out. It's just to press it and move and dance and sing. And they're adorable and I love selling them. Got these guys. It's like gooseberry patch. Um, I looked them up. Yeah, like some of them would go for 20. And I got the guy and the girl. They're really heavy. So the quality. So I'm happy that was my Goodwill haul and I'll have to show you guys what I got from the other thrift store in a bit. Alright. $29.26. Okay, it's the next day. I wanted to show you guys what we got at that first thrift store yesterday, which was St. Vincent of Paul, I believe. Um, we were in um, Walla Walla, Washington, which is, yeah, about 40 minutes from us. We're in Pendleton. My cat's trying to look out the window. <laughs> um, okay, so we didn't get that much there. We spent $22. Um, John just got this for me because he knows I like beachy things. This was 79 cents plus 25% off, whatever that was. And, and in that same back room, I got this which uh, if you guys don't know, this is vintage Ziggy from the 70s. It was only 99 cents plus 25% off that. And it's American Greetings, 19, oh, 1982. It was originally $4, but these things sell for 20 and up on eBay. So yeah, that was a quick flip, cheap flip. 
I'll be happy to list that. Then John got some stuffed animals. He was researching on so many stuffed animals, but look at this fancy zoo. He's, already, he's got his original tag, which is always good. $1.25 and he's wool. Um, look at this. Hot belly bear. Yeah, he's, um, what I did with these guys, I put them in the dryer without dryer sheets. You don't want to use dryer sheets because um, a scent rubs off on them and some people are allergic to that. So I just throw plush in the dryer um, by themselves, just to kind of fluff them up and get off any dirt or grime or junk from thrift stores. I know my lighting is not that great. I do have my light on, but kind of far away from it. Okay, then John got this other one. This is another wool plush. He's cute. Um, hopefully as a tag. Oh, John was looking at the tag. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is the gun. Remember, gotta get a gun. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. And he's really floppy. So um, I John looked these up. I'm assuming they're 20 and up. I don't really know. I'll find out. I don't know if he's wool, but he's a poodle. Very cute. Um, really pretty necklace, blingy necklace. It's just elastic. And I, yeah, I threw all these three of these in the dryer. He was two twenty-five. Here's the tag. Outside. And then, oh come on. So $24 carat polar puff. I got this because I have for sale a hula skirt for Halloween. And this was only $1.25. And I'm gonna put them together. So here is the top part of the hula, the bikini, and then I have the bottom part. So I will lock them together. I know it's getting really close to Halloween, but gotta do that today and get that um, photographed and on ebay so that's why i got this so that was it you guys that wasn't you know we first got in there and i thought oh my gosh i saw the prices and i thought wow we're not getting anything here <laughs> they had really high prices but it's one of those thrift stores where they have high prices on some things and low prices on other so and it was a huge store so the more we walked around the more we found we were there a couple hours they had several rooms, so we didn't end up finding those things. And I think they're all gonna make us good profit. So we only spent, we spent 22 at St. Vincent and um, if that's the name of the thrift store, <laughs> look at the footage, I actually don't remember. And then we sp I spent 20, at John and go, he wanted to take a nap. I went into Goodwill in Walla Walla and spent 29. And we did go to another thrift store, which was like a local thrift store. And, but their prices were way too high. The only thing I was thinking about getting was an Elvis Christmas stocking. But then I saw they don't sell for a lot, so I put it back. So it was a really fun trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed my thrift haul and it gives you ideas of what to thrift when you're out. Uh, jingle pals, jingle pals. <laughs> this is Hallmark Jingle Pals, if you guys don't know. It's the back, aren't they cute? You got a couple, um, Mom and Pa Snowman. <laughs> uh, she's got a book for caroling and he's got the broom. And we took the batteries out. I should have showed you guys, left them in and showed you. It's really fun. When you get the batteries in, you push this button on the bottom and they sing and dance. Um, I think it's like deck the halls or something. Anyway, here's the bottom. My lovely husband took the time to unscrew all of these. He put the batteries in, tested it, and it worked. This is about the fifth one we've sold over the years, since 2017, I believe. And I've sold two or three of these. And then there's other kinds. There's like one with a do uh, snowman and a dog, and um, different, yeah, different ones. Like if you look on eBay, you'll see many different ones. I have this listed for $23. Probably as it gets closer to Christmas, it'll sell, but usually don't have any problem selling these. So if you guys find these when you're on about source and grab them, I paid up to $7 for them. This one was 
Oh, no more than four bucks. It was really reasonable. We found this at one of the last thrift stores we went to.